What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 season, you know, it, it, it is what it is, guys. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went straight through the Sprout Tower and took care of business right there. Now it is time for us to go into our very first gym battle against Faulkner, the Flying-type gym leader. Now, we do have Yather, two Pokemon that can actually help us out in this situation. One being Rocky, the Onyx, and the other one, Fluffolt, the Mareep. I gotta give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. If you trade for Pokemon, or get Rocky on your team, try not to train it too hard, because, well, it probably takes until the second badge in order for these Pokemon to actually listen to you. So, it would be, it would be okay to actually get some in-game Pokemon if you're not, if you're trading. So, let's go right ahead and go straight into the Pokemon Gym. Yes, I am, uh, I'm getting the challenge right here. So here's a guy that always believes in us. He's like, hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if, if you believe a championship dream it can, can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type Pokemon. Keep this in mind. Hmm, yeah, this is the reason why I brought in some extra Pokemon right here. And well, let's see what happens. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Taking on a bird catcher, bird keeper. His name is Abraham Lincoln, and he's coming out with a Spearow himself. Okay. I have the tiger. I have the mongoose. Alright, so we're going with we're going with uh, Rocky first. Mainly because of its uh its defense right here. And yes, thankfully we have a screech attack, so this uh, this tackle attack is going to be a little bit stronger. Here comes another peck. All right. Ooh, wow. When you look at it from this standpoint, yeah, peck seems to be uh, very effective. And wow, that is not strong. So, holy bejeebus! It's going to take like me. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so yeah, we're kind of falling a little behind right here. So, here comes another peck attack. And yes, here we go. Screech attack. Alright. Alright, Spiro, let's see what happens. Here comes a peck attack. And that is not very effective, but it's looking pretty grim for Rocky. And that right there is a little more strong. So we do have a kind of an advantage. Just please don't get a critical hit. And uh nearly beat him. Oh crap baskets. Okay, here comes another peck. And that only takes two HP, so here comes a tackle attack for the win. And bam, we get some experience points. Rocky. That's right. Here comes another one. Level 7. Okay. All right. Looking like a champ right there. Although, you almost got beat by a Spearow. By a peck attack. You probably should have just taken like 1 HP. Okay. Let's go right ahead and heal our, po our Pokemon right here. So, there we go. That is well earned. I think I could do, I think I could do good with one more battle right here. Alright, the keyword is Guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Okay. It's got a bot right there. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Bird Keeper Rod, and he's coming out with his Pidgey. So this is going to be a little bit easier right here, because, well, Pidgey is... Yeah, not, it doesn't have a peck attack. It doesn't have any kind of flying type attack. But we do have Screech and Crap Baskets. Yeah, it fails. Yeah, who would ever thought that, like who'd ever thought that you'd see Draven be a little more strategic? I don't know. Come a long way, and we're about to come up on like 12 years on YouTube. Believe it or not, 12 years. And uh, this is kind of crazy right here. And wow, well, look at this! Another tackle attack. So we got to get it one more time. Come on, screech attack. Okay, now we're even. All right, that's like four levels right there. And yes, we are getting tackled to death. So here we go, a tackle attack for ourselves. And that nearly does it. It's a critical hit. And there we go, another another attack launched. And here comes a tackle attack. So this is like this is like the slowest battle ever. So one, two, three experience points. Nearly grossed at level eight. He's coming out with a Pidgey. So let's go with Fluff Volt. This should be easy. Watch, Faulkner's gonna be looking up, and he's gonna be like. This mother grabber, he's using an, elect an electric type Pokemon. Yes, I am, because I'm in it to win it, baby. So here we go, Thundershock. 
does it sting and say goodbye to Pidgey? There we go. Okay, so there comes a level 11. We are four levels close to an evolution right here, and... Uh, yeah! Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you have to say? Fuck, your skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. Nah, it's not cockiness. It's just the confidence, homeboy. And, well, you know what? Let's go right ahead and... No, let's not do that, okay? Let's just take a good risk right here because I know what exactly is coming. I'm Faulkner, the Violet G Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip up uh, flipping wings or Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of, mag of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Alright, Screamo Emo, let's get this going. So here we go, guys, our very first gym battle against Leader Faulkner. And uh, yeah, he is keeping it real right here. He just has two bird Pokemon. Nothing whatsoever, but he does have an ace up his sleeve. When it comes to going up against uh, rock types or electric types, he has these things covered. And, well, you're going to be seeing it in a little bit right here. Mud Slap Attack. That right there is going to mess us up just a tad bit. This is the reason why we're going to have to be a little more strategic when we battle this guy. Because Mud Slap is a ground type attack. And it does have another effect, which it does take the accuracy of a Pokemon. So, let's go with another Screech. And another mud slab is gonna hit us. And this right here, we're like completely blind, so tackle attack misses. Yeah, so this is this right here is not going to work. And at this point, we're not gonna be able to hit anything. So let's go straight to Chico since Pidgey doesn't really have a flying type attack right here. We're a little safe, and here comes a mud slap. Not effective, but it does take our accuracy just a little bit. So let's go with a Razor Leaf. Same type attack. It does have uh, screeches on him, and that nearly takes all his HP. So here comes a Tackle Attack. We are free from all that uh, that hoopla. So let's see. Before we do anything, let's go with a Reflect. This will come in handy. And bam, that hits us pretty good. So let's go straight for a Tackle Attack. And that takes away Pidgey, and well, look at this, more points, Rocky grows to level 8, 40 points right there. Alright, thankfully, thankfully that Reflect lasts for 5 turns, so we're going to go straight to Fluffolt right here, and we're going to literally insult this man. Alrighty, bring it on Pidgeotto. Yes, we are insulting you, oh crap Basket, I did it again. And that hits us pretty hard right there. Our actually has fallen, and we missed our first attack. Crap baskets. Okay, let's go. Thundershock. Here comes a mud slap. And at this point, we're like blind. Okay, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, so instead of tackle... Okay, so it's not listening to me. So you see what I mean, guys? We are not being listened to. This is the reason why you have to be careful when you actually trade Pokemon. So that's not going to work. And it looks like to me... Yes, our accuracy has fallen. Reflect has faded. Let's go with a Reflect. And here comes a Gust Attack. And that right there hits us pretty hard. Okay, Razor Leaf for the win, I think. And there you go. That nearly beats him. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, here comes another Gust Attack. Thankfully, we didn't waste any more, any more potions right there. So let's go straight for a Tackle Attack. Oh, dang. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so we really need to heal up our Pokemon right here. Thankfully, we got three potions. All right, po All right, Chico, come on. Do it for the Chikoritas out there. The Chicas. And this one right here is really hitting us hard. Let's go for Razor Leaf. Yes, I know. It's kind of a weak attempt and all that stuff. But here comes the Razor Leaf, and that nearly takes him out. Okay, so here comes another Gust Attack. Thankfully, that is not a critical hit. And our Reflect has faded, so this... Oh, no! Oh, no! And that nearly beats us. Holy crap, Baskets. Okay, so we survived. Let's go with another Potion. I did say we were going to make it a little harder on ourselves, right? So here comes another Gust Attack. And that was super effective. You see, the Reflect actually worked on us right here. 
So here comes a Razor Leaf attack. And that... Oh my god, no! <laughs> this Pidgeotto... Oh, whoa, we're fighting to the death right here. Oh lord, okay, so let's go straight for another potion right here. We are literally fighting to the death, and... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Tackle attack for the win. Okay. Alright. So, I think I'm liking the walk that I'm doing. Look at his full full grows to level 12. And Chikorita, Chico, grows to level 13. So, yeah. A battle well earned right there, guys. Darn! My dad's chair is bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's an official Pokemon League set for badge. Yes. Alright, throwing out that peace sign, peace sign, guys. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. It raises our attack power, and it also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. We get ourselves a TM31, which, of course, is Mud Slap. By using ATM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. ATM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In, order, in other words, it is both a defensive and offensive uh, move. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. You should test your skills at these gyms. I'm going to train harder to become the greatest bird master. Okay, well, we'll see about that. I don't know. If I train a bird Pokemon, will that make me into a master? Who knows? Okay, so we stepped outside the, the gym, and, well, Professor Elm is calling us. He's like, hello, Draven. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Click. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to have to scurry on over here to the Pokemon Center and see what this is all about. Go ahead and talk to him, and he's going to be like, Draven, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take this Pokemon egg? Sure. And look at that. We got ourselves a Pokemon egg for the first time. We got it. We discovered that Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to have other active Pokemon to hatch. Draven, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when you when that egg hatches. Okay. All right. First is first. Let's go ahead and take a look at that new badge that we got. Look at that. Zephyr badge again. And, well, it's kind of a good thing that we went through what we went through, guys. Because I do feel as though that, you know, it will be a good challenge later on. I think the second badge, you get up to level 30. The level limitation is up to level 30, so we'll have enough time. There is another Pokemon that I am planning on capturing after... And you guys will see who. It's not a big surprise, but it's a temporary-ish uh, kind of a member right here. But yes, very good episode, guys. In the next one, we will be going to the Ruins of Elf, taking a small visit there, taking a look at all that stuff, and then from there, we'll see what ends up happening. So thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, keep this thing going. Heart button's right there. What else? Oh, yeah. There's a game called Pokemon Silver that I'm probably going to be doing as members as a membership only kind of walkthrough. So if you guys want to see that, click the join button. We'll get that thing going in November. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the Ruins of Elf. See you guys.